Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight our goal play some ships we don't normally play. That simple. So let's get this party started. Who's got who do we got in chat? Dewan, as usual, in number one seed. We got Amir, Jaybird, Martin, Lances, Jessica, uh Philippus, Majin Vegeta's in the chat. Love it. Per Michael, Envy, Phil, Klee, Harry, uh, Taman, Paul, Santiago, Joshua, Rodney, Clyde, Sam, Kame, and Lee. Welcome. So, what do we start with? If we're playing ships that we don't normally play, Let's start to tier 5. Let's go for the battleships. And find a battleship we ain't played in a long time. What What is a battleship we haven't played in a long time? We got the Prince Itel. Haven't played that in a long time. Ishmael. Haven't played that in a long time. Maybe we go for Ishmael action. Right out the gate. Let's go Ishmael. We, we haven't played this ship in a long time. Mr. Monkey, how's it going? Bama Wolf. Lee, what up? Godly Weeb, how's it going? But uh, welcome everybody to the stream. Hopefully you guys are going to have a good time. We're going to try to have just a, a fun little stream of playing a bunch of stuff that we don't normally play. Should be interesting. All right, so we got three destroyers. It is a tier six lobby, but the only tier six that we're up against is an Algeri, so not too worried there. Interesting. All right, let's go. Let's get this party started. What up, where? How's it going? Am I doing any count ins? No. Alex Pro, how's it going? What up, where? How's it going? Pranav, how's it going? Can I play the Tennessee? I haven't played the Tennessee in a while, so yeah, I, I play the Tennessee. I think that fits the bill. Legendary coming in re-upping for 25 months. Thank you so much, my dude. Taman, I have not played the mobile version. I do not intend to play the mobile version. Uh, I would either have to play it on my cell phone or I would have to download it on my PC on a emulator for Android and then try to play it that way. Neither of which sounds particularly interesting to me personally. Uh, for those of you who have tablets and stuff, then I'm sure it's, it's a little bit easier for you guys. But yeah, just not something I'm interested in, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so we got one destroyer at Bravo. We got one at Charlie contesting. I'm spotted. Oh, well, there's a Getty. For 7,800. 7,800 just hit that man for. Oh, he made mistakes in his life hole. And then this dumb dumb runs straight into a torpedo. How do you run into torpedoes like that? Like, I just did everything you need and you still managed to screw it up. Ishmael is coming out swinging hard. Good Lord, Ishmael. Why do I not play this ship more? <laughs> Lord have mercy. We damn near death struck the Dallas. Ugh. 
What the world? I'm glad you enjoy, Taman. How did that? Okay, play that out in your head. That destroyer ran into the torpedo that was spotted. Clearly aimed at me. How is that possible? Holy Ismail, Batman. What has gotten into you? But my Ismail is hitting different. It's hitting different. This ain't normal Ishmael. This is this is nastiness. Like we've hit 24 rounds in three shots. <laughs> Watch, here it is. Here's the one that'll screw it up, right? Oh, it's still decent. That's gonna be at least two shells on target. Ah, it was only a, only one, I guess. Never mind. Look like it's gonna be two. But damn. Good luck coming back from that. And our team is still somehow losing. <laughs> That's the crazy part. Aim a little high. He is going away from us a little bit. What the? Okay. All right. RNG's coming back to us. <laughs> That's that's the Ishmael we know and love. That's the one. Ooh, buddy. Hello, Yuga. I see you, sunshine. Oh, he's going forward. I didn't lead him enough. Oh, maybe I did. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you what. You better not be sleeping on my Ishmael now. Is he going to make the island or is he going to beach? Please tell me he beaches here. No? No beach? Alright. Well, we're gonna save for full full Sabo here. We'll wait. I got plenty of time. I ain't in no hurries. Go ahead. Show me what you got, Yuga. You know you want to use all those guns. Look at all those guns he has. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six guns. And, uh oh, hold that thought. Alright, maybe a little dangerous to make that, that turn, but I had to get a shot. Oh, we left him alive, though! Dude, we almost pulled it off. We almost, we almost sniped that little turd burglar. Oh, that's a plank plank, mother trucker. Plank plank! You got nothing, New Mexico? You stay broadside to me a little bit longer and I'm gonna make sure you have nothing. That's all I'm saying. Eight seconds, you're inside 12 kilometers. That's accuracy buff territory. Let's go. Three, two, one. Power the guns! Woo! Bam! <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. What is wrong with my Ishmael? This thing is cracked. Ishmael broken. Somebody needs to nerf this thing quick. I can't be having fun in a Russian battleship. We can't have this. Russian biased enabled. Oh look, the torpedoes finally got here from the little turd burglar I shot. What is this Yuga doing? He's just kind of sitting over here chilling, isn't he? Alright. I am- Whoa! That's not what I wanted to see. I'll be real honest. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, help. Help. I need somebody. Help. Not just anybody. Help! Oh, he changed our tune real quick. He did eat a torp. We can snipe him. That'd be good. All right, let's go ahead and put out that. We do have three three damage controls. I need spotting, you little turd! What are you waiting for? He torps the battleship. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Fire your guns at me again, you little bastard. Yeah, that's what I thought, you little fuck. Too scared, ain't you? Think I won't? I hit him! <laughs> God dang it, man. This Fabuki's actually gonna cost us the fucking game, though. Like, legitimately.
No! The New Mexico came out from behind the island! Damn it, dude! Why did the Fubuki do that? Like, why is that your gameplay? Like, I'm sorry. I'm calling you out. That was fucking idiotic. That was the dumbest goddamn play on the planet. It's like, you see the fucker right here! Right here! He's right the fuck here! <laughs> He's firing his guns over and over again! And the dumb fucking destroyer is like, yes, I'm going to stop behind my battleship because fucking helping my team in any capacity is too much to ask. Ah! <laughs> Hate it! Dude, we were having a hell of a game! And I leave it to the fucking top tier destroyer to fuck it all up! That ain't even top tier, he's a fucking tier 4, or tier 5, but still! Go do something! You little turd! God dang it. The only thing this man did the entire game was sit here and do fucking circles. Then he torps the guy has no hit points left. The like, guy's dead. And he still tries to torp him. Stupid. El stupido. That's what it is. El stupido. It's the only Spanish I know other than like menu items. But God, we were having a hell of a game, man. That's so frustrating. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Tennessee! I did say I'd play the Tennessee. Let's go. American Made, how's it going? Nessa, how's it going? Or NASA, how's it going? Randy, good to see you. Marios, how's it going? Ah! Welcome back to a Spartan Legend stream, everybody. The most entertaining stream on the planet. DK, how's it going? Good to see you. Randy. Uh, Ivan, good to see you. Prince Itel. We we might do Prince Itel. We haven't played that one for a while either. Please play Z31. Oof. I, I don't even... Do I have the Z31? I have a lot of different Zs. They all get confusing to me. Tyler. Not to be confused with Tyler. Yair. His long-lost cousin. <laughs> Landshark. How's it going? Dejan's in the chat. What's the best build for Brisbane? Uh, the one where you shoot your guns a lot. Don't get shot. That's that's the best build for Brisbane. I, I it's I don't know, just a regular regular accuracy build, DPM build with uh, with Von Essen for the improved pin angles. Um, you if you shoot a lot of AP like I do. Um, but if you shoot HE, then it doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't know. I don't play the Brisbane enough to really care. I'd rather play the Mino any day of the week, because it has smoke. It's a, it's a nice little, uh, crutch for those of us who aren't Giga Chad cruiser players. Clyde coming in with a $20 bomb, my dude. Oh yeah, we had a hell of a game. We had a hell of a game. I ain't mad. It's just one of those things I have to call out. Like, if that guy doesn't do that... Oh my god, he's making the turn. Wait for it. Oh my god, they look decent. They're tracking. They're tracking. Pow! Oh, he gets away with it. How? He's angled at everything. That should have been a damn death strike. It's a Konigsberg, man. All right, well, 10 seconds, we get to do it again. This time, he's going to be angled away from us. He's firing AP. I'm expecting him to try to go behind the island here, so we're going to lead to that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we citadel the man with plunging fire through the goddamn deck, but I can't Let's citadel him when he's full fucking broadside. Where's the fucking thought man. process there, you Wargaming? Lord have mercy. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll jump into Sinop at some point as well, Clyde. Thank you so much, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Legendary and Clyde as well. All right, well, little turd burglar survives because nobody else on my team can shoot anything. Well, New Mexico's shooting. Fire the front guns at him. Uh, there's a little turd burglar off my bow. Okay, good to know. Yuga got behind the island, so I didn't get a chance to shoot him. 
Boy, if only I had a teammate instead of a destroyer once again hiding behind me, using me for cover. Or a cruiser hiding behind him, using him for cover. That Yuga or Koenig should be begging for it, so we'll take that shot. You gonna hit me that hard from an, from that angle in the New Mexico? Really? I find that difficult to believe, game. The ship is on fire. Oh look! Oh look, our, our destroyer is finally gonna try to go forward, maybe do something useful. Like run straight into a torpedo the first chance he gets. Never seen that before. These, these are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. <sighs> God, how are these people this stupid? I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't. I, I just can't. You, you can see it coming from a mile away, and yet these fucking morons run straight the fuck into them in the most agile ships on the planet. I, I, I don't understand it. <laughs> but Spartan, you're a tier five. Give them some credit. Like they, sh they're just not very good at the game yet. Clearly, problem is it won't change when they get to tier seven either. They're all just dumb. Like nothing changes. They make the same mistakes now that they'll make in five years. Nobody ever learns from their fuck ups. I always just find it funny that I can dodge torpedoes in gigantic battleships simply by paying a fucking attention. And yet, every one of these fuckers and their little destroyers managed to run straight into every fucking torpedo under the sun. Alright, let's get rid of this little fire starter now. I'm done with his ass. Since we don't have any other teammates, because they all fucked off, one ran straight into the first torpedo that he saw, and the other one ran to the other side of the map, because, you know, reasons. We should overmatch this uh, Koenig, so I'm going to exploit that. Front guns didn't clear. Problem solved, sir. <sighs> all right. Let's see what we can do to turn out here. Let's see if we can not beat you on this island, preferably. Dude, my team's already dead. We are we are five minutes into this game, and my entire fucking team is dead. <laughs> Keep in mind that I have been fighting, what, three battleships, their cruiser, and one of their destroyers this whole time. By myself. And I've still lost every member of my team. <laughs> That's impressive when you think about it. I'm half expecting a destroyer to come popping out of here, though I know there was one in the middle. But like, I'm expecting there to be a destroyer right here ready to yeet me. Also kind of expected the battleship to be here over-angled. I don't want to turn in just yet, but I'm going to have to turn in eventually. <sighs> okay. I fucked that one up. Please hit a superstructure. Oh, that was such a bad shot by me. I fucking, I clutch shot at that one way too high. I got very lucky. Okay, here's the other New Mexico. He's going to have to turn his guns because he has no idea that I was over here, apparently. For reasons. Get angled! Oh, this is gonna sting. This is gonna sting, boys. Oh my god, he a he aimed way higher than I did. Okay. No, in that case, superstructure open for business. This is a winnable game, but I have to dodge torpedoes to do it. Like, this is a very winnable game. As long as that guy over there can put up any sort of fight. I don't know. He's in a, a position where he's at least somewhat protected. At least until the destroyer yellow rushes him. Through the cheek. Oh, there it is. That was huge. That was fucking huge. We needed that. 
We fucking needed that. Now we're gonna turn in, expecting the torps. Yep, I knew this was coming. Oh, he he launched these torps. So I'm dead. Those are Japanese torps. I'm alive. We're taking on water quickly. Oh <gasps> no, not like this. Come on. As soon as I get that third gun, I'm fired. Beautiful. Still have the fourth gun for the Yuga, potentially. I know this little fucker's sitting right here, too. He's just waiting for his chance to yeet me coming around this island again. Torpedoes to port. Oh! Torpedoes, direct front. Like I said, it's a winnable game. It's not likely. But it is a winnable game. We just gotta... Be smart with the rest of our hit points. Don't take any torps and hope to God these fucking destroyer players end up playing like morons. Mine did, so why can't theirs? Oh, that was a good shot by our Bayern. That was oh, but he took a nasty hit in return. Oh, that's that's sad just that's just the sad just. Oh, he fucked up! So did I. Slow down. I got one on target. Okay, was it the... Oh, turn. Turn. Oh, this is death. It's right on the snoot. Yeah. It's fucking kamikaze, man. Fucking broken-ass bullshit ship from day one. They still haven't fucking nerfed at this point in the fucking game. Broken-ass fucking ship that has never been touched for no fucking reason. Like, get the fuck out of that shit, man. If you're still playing the Kamikaze in 2024, you need to reevaluate life choices. Sorry. Like, I have no respect for you. God dang it, man. If only I had one teammate on my side of the god dang map that wasn't a complete fucking idiot. That cruiser or that destroyer. Either of them. Just a little fucking help. <laughs> oh well, we did our job. Oh my god. Zachary Glenn coming in, dropping a hundred dollar bomb out of nowhere. Good Lord, man. Damn. Thank you so much, man. Good Lord. Get some goats in the chat for Zach, man. Good Lord. Dude just come out of nowhere and dropped a hundred dollar biscuit in my lap. Thank you so much, man. All right, so we played the Tennessee. We played the the, the thing. Uh, we haven't played the Prince Itel. Let's play the Prince Itel. Give this thing a little bit of a run for its money. I think this is my... Uh... Yeah, okay. Hi, Spartan. Love catching you live. I hope you have a great stream and what day. Up, Simon? Miles, good to see you. Have a good night, Majin Vegeta. Appreciate you dropping in, man. I wish I had the Siegfried. I don't actually have the Siegfried. It's one of those campaign ships that I just barely missed out on. Um, I, I almost unlocked it, but didn't quite get it. Of course. I get into a German battleship the first fucking game's a goddamn carrier game. Go fucking figure. It never fails. It never fails. Every fucking time. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be playing all the ships that we don't normally play today. What up, B3? How's it going? Play the Florida? I play the Florida all the time. So, that doesn't fit the bill today. Play the Colorado. I play the Colorado all the time. Got to play the ships that I don't play normally. That's that's the goal for today's stream. So, we're doing Tier 5 first, and we'll go up. We'll jump in Tier 6 and do a little bit of that. I got a wife and kids at home, and I plan on seeing them. Let's win this. Jesus Christ. I forgot Moist Critical's voice line. Like, he kind of jump scared me a little bit. I was like, did I leave fucking voice chat on? No, that was that was just that was just Charlie yelling at me. I got a wife and kids at home and I plan on seeing them. Let's go. <laughs> what up, KMS Bismarck? Heisman, good to see you. KVN. Pete, how's it going? Walt, good to see you. CSV, how's it going? Maybe play a Malfi or Brindisi. See, I play those ships, though. Enemy force detected. 
I mean, it has been a little while since I played the Amalfi, but I did just do, like, the whole, like, Meet the, or Path 2 series for that not too long ago, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Alright, fire your guns, you little turd. I know you're there. Oh, hold it. Hold that thought. I don't know who the hell would be in a Sims right now. That seems like an awful fucking idea. I feel sad for that guy. Nobody plays The Sims by choice. And of course, the first time I get hit with an HE shell from a fucking Japanese battleship, it's fucking fire. Shocker. That Z-35 should wreck The Sims. Like, should wreck The Sims. Right? Sims is a walking pile of actual dog turd. Sims is like the black without anything good. <laughs> like, it has nothing going for it. It's got slow-ass long-range torpedoes that do almost no damage. It's got, it's got like, guns that are okay but not great. Like, the Sims is terrible. Come on, Itel. Do me some good here. He's begging. Oh, that looks much better. That looks really good, actually. Torpedoes to port. Yeah, there's the slow ass torpedoes. <laughs> torpedoes to port. Yeah, good luck hitting me with those from any sort of range. Oh, okay, they got a little sneakier. And of course, there's the second time I've been hit with an HE shell this match. Fortunately, we get five heals, so we might as well use them. So far, we've gotten, what, four salvos away, three salvos away, and we're up to 9,000 hull damage. And our destroyer's not wanting to actually push and do anything useful. So, fun. Now, what worries me is that the Sims has torpedoes coming through this next gap. That's, that's a little bit concerning. And everybody's running away from us, so trying to get in secondary range to utilize this thing is not easy. Because it doesn't have great secondary range. The guns are pretty bleh. There he is! Kill him! Did he eat a torpedo? He had to have ate a torpedo, because I know my destroyer hasn't done shit in terms of shooting. Should be in range of secondaries pretty soon. I'm gonna aim high, try it. Oh my god, the front guns hit the island. God, these guns are so sad. They are so sad most of the time. Alright, should be definitely in range, right? Secondary secondary range? Yeah, 6-4. We'll go ahead and punch that. He's going to get behind the island, so I got no shot there. Dude, look how sad that is! We're fucking four and a half kilometers. I hit him with three rounds from a full broadside. Fire alarm. My secondaries at this point have done more damage than my primaries. Pretty confident. Problem solved, sir. This guy's making the game return. We'll aim a little bit high. Oh my god, there's sadness! These guns are sadness! Here comes skip bombs. Double fire. Oh my god, he dropped them so late. Okay, well, at least we know that that guy is not really much of a threat. I need intelligence data. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Looks decent. Ah, didn't hit him though. Didn't hit him. Secondaries! Go! Torpedoes dead ahead! Oh no, he launched torpedoes! torpedoes Thank god my secondaries are actually shooting. Fire 
Who could have seen those torps coming? <laughs> oh, you gotta love it, man. You have to. <laughs> you have to. That guy waited all that time. Got his opportunity. He's like, I'm gonna kill me a battleship. No, you're not. You're, you're just not. <laughs> not with those slow-ass torpedoes. I'm gonna run over your corpse. Get the fuck out of those lifeboats. No lifeboats allowed! <laughs> it's about the only thing I could kill with these main guys. <gasps> well, hello, Mr. John Wick. How are you? Isn't that a beautiful sight? It doesn't matter, because even if I do hit him, it'll be sadness, most likely. But he isn't moving. Oh, nope, he's reversing. Hold it. Get him! If there's ever one salvo in your entire pathetic existence that actually does damage, let it be this one. Yes! Holy sh... See, that's all I needed. I just needed a little bit of... A little bit of help from the main guns. That's all. Mr. Vick. El Baba Yaga. Which totally doesn't mean what they thought it did. Get him! Alright! Alright, okay. Can't damage anything else, but we can damage the hell out of the, ba of the uh, carrier. Looks like the destroyer is going to probably get the kill. Right, like he's actually gonna kill him, right? I'll take the shot, you never know. Miss all the shots you don't take, right? Mine! <laughs> and the Pitadel! You gotta love it. And we get the Pitadel. Let's go. Dude, we're, we're just going ham out here today. What up, zombie? How's it going? Tyler Tog, how's it going? Chad, how's it going? Bonjour. Welcome. Glad you were finally able to catch a stream. First time ever. Welcome to the stream, my dude. We're out here having a good time today, man. We're just, we're going to have a good time. What up, TTV? How's it going? We're just playing a bunch of, a bunch of ships that we don't normally play because why not? Oh, destroyer spotted. Prepare to fire the guns. Fire the guns! Oh, he's, he's slowing down. That's a miss. Swing and a miss. Try again some other day. We have the points lead. We have no carrier to worry about. We're not in range to shoot the McKinson. The other battleship's so far away, it's not even funny. We just got to try to help the guys know if he ends up seeing... I mean, we're almost in range to shoot the McKenzie. So if we can close a little bit here... Oh! Uh, he's going to be behind the island, so no no shot there. This guy's turning towards us a little bit, so I may have shot this a little high. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Feel like one of those guys from Sesame Street. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Yep. Dude, I am having a good time. Uh, I've, I've reaffirmed myself in the, uh, the whole, like, trying to lose weight thing. I've set a goal for uh, trying to get down to 200 pounds by the end of next year. So, by December of 2025. Yeah, that was terrible. I knew that wasn't going through. But I want, I want to get down to 200 pounds by the end of 2025. So, that's my goal. Um, so over the next year, I will be trying to walk at least five miles a day on top of the working out four days a week in terms of, uh, my, my normal workout routine. Um, and I've, I've gotten back to watching my diet to where I'm not eating ice cream all the time. So I'm going to be trying my darndest. Yeah, the aliens. See, I know you guys would know. I'm not crazy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What up, Alf? How's it going? Mr. Fox, good to see you. Steven? I'm doing good, man. Chansey, good to see you. Albrecht? You 
forgot to change your name. You're Chad. Nice. All right. Well, we're out of shots. I, I was expecting the destroyer to come yellowing me, but he decided to try to kill the uh, Gnizno instead. So, eh, not a bad game. Not a great game. We didn't really have anything to shoot at other than a couple of a couple of goobers. Olga, good to see you. Lexo, good to see you. Simpins in the chat. How's it going? Douglas, Phil Jones, Benny. Let's go. I did start a little bit earlier than I normally do, um, but not by too much. What up, Sasha? The Ajin Court. I think I'm going to try to keep it to like... Okay, there you go. Get eyes and nose down. I think I'm going to try to keep it to either battleships or maybe battleships cruisers today. Instead of playing destroyers. I don't want to play destroyers. Alright, well that's tier 5. Let's go jump up to tier 6 and see what we can play. We could jump back down occasionally too. No big deal. Now one of the things that somebody asked me uh, recently was Ashitaka. I haven't played this ship in forever. so I don't even remember anything about it. It's like a tier 6 version of the Mutsu if I remember correctly. So, we'll see what it can do. Mega, how's it going? Cradian, good to see you. GG, I didn't even realize you were in my game. GG's, dude. Raptor, good to see you. Can I play the Ashitaka? <laughs> well, isn't that convenient? Sure, I'll play the Ashitaka. <laughs> There you go. What up, zombie? Somebody's pleasure. Can you use Bismarck? I mean, I played a Bismarck quite a bit, actually. So probably not. I don't think it would fit into the, the theme today. Gnizeno? That Gnizeno is definitely one that, it, that could fit into the theme. Oh, look. We're starting to get the people into my games. All right. Okay. Back. God dang it. See, hiding the screen won't work on this because now y'all know what the theme is. Now you guys are just going to be like, well, he's at tier 6 now, so. Stop doing it. Don't do it. Don't. Bad. Bad. And we know you from past streams. Uh, I don't know what I should do here. Like, part of me wants to go to the right. The other part of me wants to go, like, mid. So, I think I'm going to go mid. Get the guns on the right side of the ship here. Since nobody... Well, our, our cruisers are already activating their sonar. So, that tells you what they're good at. I mean, dude is, like, 40 kilometers away from the nearest ship. So, definitely activate that sonar now. I'm sure you won't need it in a little while when you go to punch straight into it. Oh, now he's doubling back this way. Of course, because he can't he can't go over there because the other destroyer is over there. So he just wants to go in the direction that I'm at, but not actually put himself in any position to be useful at all. Because going forward and spotting would be crazy. You just want to follow me whichever direction I decide to go to. Got it. Understood. I'm not on fire yet. See a destroyer, shoot a destroyer. All right, boys. Well, I think we found the entirety of the enemy team. They're apparently doing the same thing that I'm doing. All right. Well, in that case, I think we're going to commit to the turn now. And everybody on the left side of the map decided to uh, hold and, like, sit still behind an island. So their guys are all shooting me. I've got all the people that spawned here across from me shooting me. Jinkokase, huh? Rude. Oh, there's a synop there, too, huh? Interesting. He's awfully broadside if I could actually get somebody to spot. 
But, you know, spotting is overrated. It's just World of Warships Legends. Why would we ever have spotting? It's not like we have three fucking destroyers in this lobby. Oh, you little bastard. Fuck off, New Mexico. That looks decent. Let's see if we can get rid of this little fire starting. Oh my god, of course. I get over here to finally shoot at him and he fucking disappears. Shocker. They'll keep him spotted the entire time until I can actually potentially shoot him and then they'll let him disappear. Every time. From downtown! Alert immediately turns. Yeah, he's one of those. He's one of those light cruiser players. He's going to spend the entire game 30 kilometers away. And the Benson dev strikes are in New Mexico because, you know, reasons. Good luck hitting me from that far away, Mr. Gokase. What is their team doing? Like, we have the cap advantage. Try to punish this sin off again. That looks really accurate, actually. Especially for this thing. It's tracking. Oh, my God. But it's so sadness. It's so sadness. Like, it always looks like it's going to be devastating. And then it just does absolutely nothing. It's like a gigantic bait and switch. It's like, oh, this is going to hurt. No, it's not going to do shit. Look at this little fucker. All right, let's see if we can't sneak a shot on him. Because all we need to do is hit him one good time. That'll stop him from playing all this horse shit. Okay, he's turning. Oh, he's just... Okay. Okay. That's a fucking sweaty-ass, try-hard little turd blossom. I think I still hit him, though. Woo, yeah! You ain't gonna be able to get away with too many of those, sunshine. Getty's too far away. I don't have to worry about his torpedoes. Sharnhorst is about to maybe go broadside to us here. Just give it a moment. Come on, go ahead and fucking over it. It would help if my entire team didn't just play follow the fucking leader. Like, they, they can't think for themselves. Like, we don't have a destroyer trying to do destroyer things. We don't have battleships trying to do battleship things. It's everybody play follow the fucking leader and then wait to get fucking torped or something. I, I don't know. Down goes our Asashio. Got himself fucking killed. First time he actually went out and tried to do anything. Shocker. He did capture a base, so we'll give him credit for that. Okay, that's good. Little fucking sweaty tryhard is dead. Dude, if there's ever an accurate, nasty salvo, let it be this one. Please, please do it to him. Ah, it wasn't even a citadel, man. Sadness. Like I said, these shells are just so fucking, like, sad. Like, they should be better than they are. But they just do nothing. One shell. Right. Oh shit. And then I turn I go to slow down and that's where I'm gonna eat the torpedoes. Jesus. 
Jesus, that hurts so fucking bad. Where's that fucking Japanese, like, torpedo reduction? Oh, and of course, now all those fuckers in the middle of the goddamn map are gonna shoot me, because my team's all just hiding behind me. That's what they do. Doing everything in their fucking power to try to be as useless as fucking possible, as per usual. Now this guy's shooting fucking HE- Oh, it's the Getty still. Only I had fucking teammates. I know it's a fucking crazy concept in a fucking team-based game. Please, get rid of him. Dude, they just do nothing! <laughs> They're so fucking weak, man! They're so fucking weak! These shells are just so fucking weak, man. They don't do any damage. They, de they don't have penetration. Like, they just don't. It's like you're shooting at fucking mar marshmallows at people. That's why I don't like it, man. I don't like it. Still had a decent game, but we're going to end up losing that because the dummies behind me are going to throw the game. And they just play and follow the fucking leader the entire goddamn game. Nobody can do anything. Ah, oh, sadness. What else are we going to play? I haven't played the Resistance, have I? Have I ever even played the Resistance? I mean, it's got a, it's got a thing on it, so I clearly have. Hmm. It's got 381s. Okay, we're already set up for AP, so let's see what it's got. What up, Triple H? Good to see you. Max, good to see you. CeeLo. Play Vladdy when we get to Tier 7. Actually, Vladdy... Ah, I mean, it's been a while since I played it. I mean, I play it on streams occasionally, but we'll, we'll get to a Vladdy. Uncle Breda, good to see you. Also, if you guys enjoy these streams, punch that like button. Punch it. We got 200 people in the lobby right now. Only 81 of y'all have hit the like button. Come on now. Hit that like button. It's been a banger of a stream so far. Playing a bunch of ships we don't normally play and absolutely crushing it so far. Uh, we haven't had a bad game yet. Uh, Sergio? I hope that's how you spell your or how you say your name. How's it going? Uh, I'm probably not gonna play tier one or two. It's just not it's not my thing. I don't like beating up on new players. Dogfighter, how's it going? Yeah, crack the screen. Punch it. Punch it. Alright, we're gonna use this early because we don't have any spotting on our side of the map so i'm just gonna go ahead and go for the big push around the right side i do have my guns ready wait are these all doubles oh my god we have a fucking british gnizeno i'm sure it's more accurate though so there's at least that yeah we don't have the range to speaking of gnizeno it's tier six so we're top tier Turrets move pretty quick. Kumano has gone. Play the Gascone. I don't actually have the Gascone. I don't. I don't have it. Question is, do I want to go in front of the island? Okay, well, they've got somebody here. Oh, it's the Gokase. Hello, Gokase. That's a bold strategy, Sunshine. Let's see if it works out for you. Bonk. Well, we hit half of our shells, so I can't really complain, but it would have been nice to see him lose a lot of health there. He's going to turn out, right? Oh, there's another one. Isn't that nice? Just a whole... whole whole house of Gokuseis over here, huh? Gokusei. 
Oh, uh, here we go again. Uh, the sweaty tryhard in the Gokuse. All right. Well, let's put that out. That guy actually knows he can turn the ship. Okay, New Mexico goes dark. Sh Shadness. Oh, he's back. Shot over there. Looks pretty good. We take those. That was five out of six shells. Definitely more accurate than a good Eisenau. What up, Ghost Knight? Alright, let's go ahead and put this up just in case somebody's already launched torps. This guy's 100% going to turn out, so we're going to go ahead and aim high. There's the turn. And... There's the death strap. <laughs> Thanks for playing, sweaty tryhard. Gonna have to try again next time. Two can play the sweaty tryhard game, sunshine. I'm telling you, man, don't get predictable. <laughs> if you get predictable, I'm gonna make you pay for it. All right, New Mexico's running. Ganaizano's pushing. We got a beautiful look at this. We go ahead and use our. Uh... I mean, look at that accuracy, though. Mm. Battle cruiser accuracy. I only hit two shells, though. Maybe not the greatest. Dude, how fast is that fucking Ganaizano moving, man? He's a cooking, or she? It's Lisa. She's a cooking. <laughs> One more shot before they get behind the... Oh, they turned away? Why would they do that? How am I supposed to predict that? We are going to lose our... Uh, sonar here. I don't know what the torp range of the uh, Gokusei is, but I'm going to assume it's like Japanese normalcy, right? So it's probably 11 kilometers, 10, 11 kilometers. That was a better shot. Much better shot. Just soften them up. Use our speed to get around the edge. So far, so good. I am worried that torpedoes are going to be me, uh, like, waiting for me coming around this corner. And use our heel. Probably not making the best use of the heels, but we're going to try. This guy is going to turn. Is he going to turn back out, or is he going to keep going? No, yeah, 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 he turned back out, okay. All right. All right. You live for now. Remember that. It's only for now. You're running out of room. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going right, or you're going left. And you chose to go... Oh, he actually disappeared. Smart man. Smart man. All right, well. New Mexico it is. Now he'll fire his guns, though, right? Ooh, that was a good hit. All right, let's go ahead and start uh, turning in rather than chase Nagokase. Oh, he, he doubled back. Look at this guy. He's definitely going to turn out, though, right? He's going to do the exact same thing the other guy did. And he's dead. Oh, he didn't die, though. He waited too long to turn out, so those landed a little high. Sadness. Sadness. He made the turn out. He just took too long to do it. All right. He's definitely going to turn back to the left here. Yeah, there it is. That was terrible accuracy, though. Stop breaking my gun or my torque tubes, you little turd. I might need those. Ooh, I, yeah, he's got a, he's got long enough torp range for that. You little bastard! You little fucking bastard! Get rid of him right here! This is your chance. Thank you. Don't you dare give him a fucking double. I was going to say, if you give him a double fire, I'm going to throw my fucking controller. He 
These are 15 inch guns, so pretty much anywhere I hit this man should do damage. Good. Destroyer is coming up behind me. Oh, he's over there. Okay. York's behind the island. Get a little salvo action going. <gasps> oh, God, thank God it was fucking HE. That little bastard about yeeted me. I say thank God it was HE. It's actually not, not ideal that he's using HE, because... Hello, York. Can you be my third dev strike? Nope. Apparently not. I would very much like to get my fucking damage done. Dude, why is everybody in the lobby shooting me? Oh yeah, it's because I'm the only fucking person that exists. <laughs> There's nobody else on my team. You got this guy who's just playing fucking follow the leader again. Like, this guy, he's done nothing. I have single-handedly been the only thing that's killed anything on my side of the map. I'm trying. Like, I'm playing a bunch of ships I'm not used to, and I'm still getting fucked over by teammates that just can't do anything. I don't understand it either. All right, good night, Zanel. Let's go. From one, from one six-gun battleship to another. Why not? What up, Sean? How's it going? Atwit, how's it going? Witsy or Whitesy? I'm not sure which one that would be. Life, Alberish. I think I already said hi to you. Joey, good to see you. Prince Heinrich. I know we haven't played it for a while, so maybe. Maybe. All right, good night, Zeno. Let's see what you got. Any tips for British destroyers? Uh, use their, their quick fire smokes as uh, get out of jail free cards. Play really aggressively. Screen torpedoes for your teammates when you can because you have the long range sonars. Um, the, the destroyers for the British are really, really a pain in the butt to play early on. But once you get to, like, the Jervis, the line really opens up and makes it a lot Battle more, starts. like, usable. And then Jervis, Lightning, uh, and everything else that comes after that is pretty good. Could I do the Jervis for your friend from across the pond? I mean, I, I did say I was going to, like, try to avoid playing destroyers. I was just going to play a bunch of, like, other ships. We might. I can't say no, but I'm not going to say yes. How about that? Poltava? Yeah, I was planning on playing Poltava. What up, Golden Noodle? Or Golden Doodle? I don't know why I said Golden Noodle. <laughs> Kamado, how's it going? Enemy force detected. Uh, we are bottom tier as well, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. There's an Iowa heading my way, which is not ideal. This guy's already getting cold feet. He's, he's turning to run. He, he's like, I, I can't be going forward in a Japanese cruiser. I'm scared. Best part is, like, he's literally just pulling in front of me, slowing down and stopping. So he's just going to fuck me over. Then he's going to reverse probably because, you know, reasons. Yep, there it is. There's the reverse. Then he'll get mad because I run into him, right? He'll probably spam chat with something. Maybe I hit his horn or something. You know, let me know how he's upset with me. Because it was clearly my fault that he pulled in front of me, stopped, and reversed. Even though there's nothing here to spot him or do anything. The Iowa's already been spotted running away. 
So the reason that that guy's stopping in the first place is beyond beyond reason. Okay, I'm spotted, so there's a destroyer here somewhere. I have two destroyers in the neighborhood on my team, so you would think somebody would be able to potentially do something. As Iowa's about to shoot me. I can't shoot him because he's not in range. I don't have any spotting on my team. Enemy battleship sighted. Look how accurate that is. That's with changing. That's with changing course. He still hit me with every one of those shells. Again, I, I wish I had a I had a cruiser or a destroyer to potentially spot or do something here because there's clearly a destroyer here and I have no idea where he's at. Ah, he's on my right. No damage. Great. Oh, this fucking Iowa is begging for it, dude. If only I wasn't in a fucking good eyes, no. I mean, we're hitting two shells, so... I guess better than nothing. Can I know shooting HE at me? It's kind of funny. And there's the Iowa. Get That's got to be a fucking German, right? Or is there two DDs there? There's the Gnaiz, you know, we all love. Look at this little fucker sitting out on a smoke screen just doing whatever the fuck he wants because my team's too stupid to actually do anything useful. Looks like that guy's about to have a good day. Problem solved, sir. Dude, is there anybody else on my team? Do they exist? I, I am convinced that there is nobody else on this team. Like, I got a destroyer and a smoke screen shooting at me on the right. I've got somebody shooting from the left side of the fucking map at me. I got people coming over from the other side of the map to come shoot me. Like, I am convinced at this point that there is nobody else on my team. Imagine losing a gunfight with a fucking Gnaizno in an Iowa at range. How fucking sad is that? <laughs> They're just letting our guy capture the base, dude. Dude just like sailed into the cap and is just doing what he wants. If only their entire team wasn't so worried that I exist. They might actually be in a position to do something useful. Game over. Ah, nice work. 
Wow, what a thrilling gameplay experience. There's your Gnizeno game. <laughs> Mega, thank you for re-upping for 15 months, my dude. Mr. Fox coming in with a $2 drop. Thank you so much. Thoughts on playing uh, Boise if I have it? I might play the Boise. We don't play it very often. It's just a Helena, essentially. Uh, what else did we not play? Oh, Prince Heinrich you guys are asking for. Let's go ahead and get it all out of the way. Uh, we already played the Poltava. Didn't we? I think we already did. Darkwing, how's it going? Mike? Victor? Liam? You assume there will be... That's a bold assumption. <laughs> I said there's ships that we haven't played very often, not ships that I hate. I can't stand the Flint. I'd rather have the Atlanta any day of the week. Give me the Atlanta any day of the week. Twice on Sunday. Have a good night. Douglas, appreciate you dropping in, man. Don't forget, if you guys are enjoying, punch that like button, man. 240 of y'all in chat. 240 of you in chat. Punch that like button. We're having a fun time, right? Duke of York. That's that's a uh, potential. That's a potential. We haven't played that one for a while. Nick, how's it going? Kiefer. All right, let's go to the left here and see what we can do. Good old Prince Heinrich. What's our secondary range? 8-1. Oh, my God. I forgot. That's It's it's like it wants to be a secondary ship until it actually tries to be a secondary ship. And then it's like, nope, sorry. I don't have secondaries. And these, yeah, I was going to say, this still has the 6-kilometer torps, too. Bleh. Play Montana? Can't. <laughs> I play it all the time. We're playing ships that we don't play very often. What up, Javelin? How's it going? Massachusetts? I, I play that one too much. Uh, again, goal for today is to play ships that we don't normally play. So all of, basically anything Tier 7 uh, American, probably out of it. All right, not a bad start. Heinrich, I see you. At least we got some accuracy. Spotted, so there's Destroyer here. We have a Moss. Will he actually hunt the Destroyer, or will he sit there and get yeeted? So we got three separate battleships and a Destroyer here. Let's get that around there before he gets behind that island, preferably. Oh, he fucking beaches. You gotta be joking. How are you supposed to predict that somebody's gonna just run into the island like that? Thought he was going behind it. God dang it. Sadness. Sadness. Oh, and the Sharn Horse is gonna shoot me too? You little douche. Uh. So we've got the Sharn Horse... We've got the Gnizno and the King George. And a destroyer. Hello? Did you guys see that? Like, I went to shoot the torpedo, or went to, like, look with the torp tubes. Dude, that fucking shard horse is going to be a problem. And this fucking King George. Look at that. Just broke everything on my ship. And set a fire. Main turret critically damaged. It's like worst case scenario for Heinrich right now. I've got everybody shooting at me. And that was terrible fucking accuracy. And he just ate every one of those torps, didn't he? Oh my fucking god, you people are so bad. Ah, oh, you people are always so bad. Alright, let's hit this. 
hydroacoustic search activated. Thank you for telling me, Charlie. I would never have guessed that before. All stations provide fire support. Okay. Angry smoke screen ahead. Spotted. Okay, he's he's moving from right to left. Yeah. Jiggy with it. What's our sonar range? Five point four. Spotted again. Probably from the Sharney. There you are, you little fucker. Fire alarm. Problem is, that leaves me wide open for this little fucking douchebag. As soon as I go on fucking cooldown, the and these torps are just not fucking long range enough to do fucking anything. Fire alarm. And he shoots and gets through. Yeah, fuck the Heinrich. <laughs> Heinrich is not a good ship, I'm sorry. Just not. Uh, that ship's not fun. All right. Uh, did we play the Poltava? I thought we already played the Poltava, but I could be wrong. I guess we can play it again. What up, Dart68? How's it going? Literally, worst case scenario. I had a fucking destroyer on me the entire time. I had a uh, HE spamming fucking King George sitting there. The Gneisenau and the Scharnhorst. Like, literally couldn't be countered any harder if I wanted to. I have no advantage there. At least they got rid of the Gneisenau. But, like, without anybody to help with the Destroyer, I'm pretty much st hoping that the Destroyer's a moron, and he clearly wasn't. But I had to dodge the Torps from the Destroyer, and that left me wide open to eat the torpedoes from the fucking Scharnhorst. <sighs> I tried. Michael, how's it going? I don't, do I, I don't, I don't even know if I have the rune. I don't have all the tier eights unlocked. Jose, good to see you. Yeah, we're playing. We're 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 just going through playing a bunch of ships we haven't played in a long time. Okay, that's that's the goal for today. So just whatever, just ships that we don't ever play. Ships that have been collecting dust in our thing ever since we made the meet the video on them. That's that's kind of kind of the goal for today. Just play a little bit of stuff that we just ain't never played. Vanguard. Well, that's a ship that I play though. I won't say no, but I won't say yes either. Uh, definitely not carriers. Sorry, that that's not gonna happen. Battleships and cruisers mostly. Probably mostly battleships, because by the time I get through most of the battleships, I doubt that I want to stream much further. <laughs> no offense, but uh, I'm not up for streaming Legends for longer than like three hours. I just don't want to do it anymore. Like streaming this game for more than like three hours is just torture. I don't know how some of these guys do it, man. Like, uh, Big B, I respect the fuck out of Big B. I don't know how that man can fucking sit there for five, six, seven hours every single night and stream Legends. Like, I, I don't get it. And he never fucking loses it. Never. I, I just blame the Hawaii water. 
Like he, he's got he's built different. <laughs> he's he's built different out there in Hawaii. That's just not me. There ain't no chance. What up, Egyptian Sailor? How's it going? J Cats, welcome. West Virginia is another one of those that I play all the time, so and we've already moved on from tier five. Overland, good to see you. Key, that's a potential. I mean, I play the Amagi all the time, and the key is just Amagi with Torps. Slightly worse, but basically Amagi with Torps. Kremlin, we don't have the Kremlin in Legends. The Graf Spe we did move on from tier five, but yeah, that was one that I, I do want to maybe play. So we might, we might go back and play some cruisers. We'll see. We'll see. It depends on how quickly we get through these battleships, to be honest. We have a bunch of games where we get absolutely neutered. Maybe maybe we'll get through more ships. Silo, how's it going? The Yuga. I play the Yuga all the time. Oh, look, a Bismarck. Or a Turpitz. Get him. All right, not bad. Oh, we don't have Torps. What is the Poltavas thing? I, I, I can't ever remember some of these ships, what they do. Ooh. I would love to target this fucking Boise right now. Not gonna lie. Let's see if we can help our Akatsuki by shooting this Boise. Over Penn City. So somebody's in the cap with this Akatsuki. I'm gonna assume Jervis keeping him lit. That's a lot of torps. That is definitely not a fucking Jervis. Well, Akatsuki just got our uh, Turpets problem dealt with. That would be the Summers. That would, in fact, be the Summers. We got a Hipper right here. Can't catch him. It looks like he's gonna turn back out. Uh, Alright, that was a good hit. We'll take it. Hopefully if he fires his guns, our, our plane will actually spot him, but it apparently won't. I don't know why. Like he's I clearly got a plane up in the air and he fired his guns. Like we should be seeing him. Expecting that guy to turn. Oh god, that is fucking horrendous accuracy, man. Hit him with one. Just a random Colorado sitting in their base. I'm worried about this fucking Summers. We got a, we got all of the tools to hunt this guy. Okay, there he is. And he disappears. Come on, Z-23. Like, your whole fucking ship revolves around fucking hunting destroyers. The fact you're letting this guy get away is hilariously annoying. Especially given the fact that guy gets 15 goddamn torpedoes to launch at me. Or 12. I can't remember. It's a lot. It's a lot of fucking torps that he sends in my direction. And here they come. Fortunately, they don't do a lot of damage. But we are a fucking tier 6, so yeah, they still do a lot of damage. Oh, fuck. Well, we should be able to dodge this one. Come on! Go do your thing, Z! I'm very broadside to Colorado that if he wakes up right now, it's going to be real bad news for me. Don't shoot me, Colorado, and I won't shoot you. Gentleman's agreement, right? Come on, brother, man. Just spot him and I'll help you do it. 
Even though that thing should be more than capable of killing a god dang Summers. I know the Summers has a pretty nasty alpha strike of AP or of HE that it can send down range. Got some big guns. Or a lot a lot of guns, I should say. Put this up again. They're in the cap together. Dude, I have been waiting for this guy to spot this guy for so long. Oh, he's spotted, clearly. They left the cap. Dude, how bad is your fucking detection and your fucking Z-23 that you're getting outspotted by a fucking Summers? Tell me you got a bad build without telling me you got a bad fucking build. Oh, there it is. There's a little fucker taking a shot at me for no fucking reason. At least he waited this long to do it, I guess. Alright, let's change course. Missouri's getting his ass whooped. You know, the guy that has radar. His ass whooped. Oh, fuck. He's there? This fucking Z has no idea where the fucking destroyer's at. Am I just dead? Yeah, I'm fucking dead. Oh, my God. You're fucking terrible! Stop running your fucking destroyers without twist and track, you fuckers! Jesus, you fucking people need to learn to fucking use your shit. God, I hate fucking stupid people. I really do. I hate them. Hate them with a fucking passion, man. Hate it with a fucking passion. You stupid fucks. If you're playing a fucking destroyer, especially a destroyer that has the entire fucking premise of the ship built around killing other fucking destroyers, have fucking twist and track. Or fucking whatever the other one is. Perceptive or whatever the fuck the goddamn perk is. Quit fucking around. God, I hate that shit. Dude had no fucking clue where the fucker was. And I hear I am following him around like a fucking idiot. Should have just fucking kept going. God, I hate that shit. Uh, Stefan, thank you for the 129... Swedish Krona. Appreciate you, my dude. Keep fishing potatoes, dude. I'm, I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. I, I, I always end up with the dumbest fucking person next to me. It never fucking fails. It never fails. I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to have a fucking destroyer to help, help hunt this. What the fuck is this? I don't even want to play this one. Oh my God, Keep dude. Fishing potatoes. This shit needs to stop. It's, it's, it's just got to stop. Wargaming, you need to put a fucking cap on how many destroyers are allowed in each fucking match. Period. Enough is enough. Like, this shit's got to stop, man. Three is bad enough. You don't need five. All right? Ten fucking destroyers in a lobby is just fucking pain and suffering. Ain't nobody likes that. God, that shit pissed me off, man. It's always the fucking people that you try to get to fucking help you that are the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet. Every time. They don't have their fucking ship set up for anything. It's like, the guy is what? What are you, a torp build, Z? Is that what you are? You're a torp build? Oh, you can reload your torpedoes in 60 or under 60 seconds. They do like 6,000 hole damage if you hit anything with them. And then what? Then what? No, build the fucker for guns. Build it for guns. Have your perceptive or twist and track. Have your guns. Have the fucking long range sonar that's capable of fucking detecting destroyers. Utilize that high hit point pull that you have for your tier. Stop being fucking stupid for the love of God, people. It's really not difficult. If you're in a fucking gunboat, play it as a fucking gunboat. Have the ability to hunt and kill other fucking destroyers. That's your whole purpose for existing. It's really not that fucking difficult a concept. Lord have mercy, that shit pisses me off. And it's always the one that's next to me. Always. He'll fucking go forward for the first time in his life and run straight into a fucking torpedo or he can't be useful at all. Not even in the slightest. 
Just every fucking time, man. Every fucking time. Okay, Sharnhorst and a Colorado. I have a Jervis and a Benson. Two fucking gunboats right here. Capable of fucking murdering other destroyers. Will either of them have fucking twist and track or perceptive and be able to hunt down destroyers? I'm gonna probably say no. This guy at least seems to be heading in the right direction for or spotting another destroyer, so there's at least that. This guy's already spotted and being shot at, so there's two destroyers here minimum. And he has sonar on. He should not eat any torpedoes, but place your bets on whether he ends up eating a torpedo anyway. Here it comes. Are you watching? Oh, they ran out. Colorado just ate torps. Okay, he's turning out. Got the shot over the island. We aimed high because we knew he would be turning out. And there's that beautiful Russian dispersion we all love. Just split him on both sides of his ship. Didn't even touch. And that's with a spotter plane. Which camo is this? I think it's type 3. I'll check after the match. Our Benson is losing a fight to a Benson. Checks out. Totally checks out. We got three full pins there. Benson is trying to dodge. He turned all the way out the moment I fucking shoot at him. My guy is just sitting here fucking taking every round that comes in his fucking direction. Oh, great. Fantastic. All right, well, I got to pray to God that the uh, Colorado doesn't slap me here. Okay, there's a Colorado shot. Now, this guy's been shooting HE. No, nah, that's AP. So we can't give him a full fucking broadside because he will make me pay for it. Dude, aren't these games where it's just an entire fucking lobby full of destroyers so much fun to play? Look at this. No matter where I go, there's just fucking destroyers waiting for me. Double all the way back and he's just sitting here waiting. Is all my health? Oh, they ran out. Thank God. Thank fucking God. Apparently this guy can't shoot. Of course I leave him alive. All he has to do is hit him one time. One fucking time. Surely... Look, we've lost two fucking destroyers to this one fucking Vincent because they're fucking stupid and can't shoot anything. Like, they can't hit a fucking thing. That man never landed a single shell of damage. Not a single fucking shell of damage did that fucking uh, Jervis just land on that fucking Vincent. 
Lost all of his hit points. Didn't do a single shell's worth of damage. Just get it over with. I'm done with this lobby. Clearly my fucking team's morons, so let's get it over with. bow. Here's your chance. Just murder me. You can't even kill me. Like, I'm giving you the easiest fucking citadel of your life. Easiest citadel of your life. Like, it's your life. Should be able to shoot me again before I get loaded. Oh, and he fucked it up again. How do you fuck that up, man? Seriously, I couldn't be giving you this any easier than I am. Couldn't be giving it to you any easier than I am. He didn't even torp me. Secondary kill. No. My secondaries are about as effective as my two fucking destroyers were. Alright, we're done with this fucking shit. Alright. That's enough of that. I guess we'll move on to tier 7. What are some tier 7 battleships that I don't play? Well, it's definitely nothing American. We got the key, I guess. That's one of them. I guess Vanguard technically could fall into it, though I do play it. Dude, there ain't nothing you can do in those situations, man. There's nothing you can do. Like, I hit him, and of course I gotta leave the little fucker with no health, right? Like, that's, that's just the way it goes. But my fucking destroyer couldn't land a single shell. One fucking shell. Couldn't land a single shell. What is our torp angles? Not great. Well, I know where I'm going. It's not a necessarily a good idea. What up, Akito? How's it going? Mr. Mad? I still can't believe that guy didn't kill me when I gave him full broadside. He's in a fucking shard horse. Point fucking blank. It's got accuracy. Now, he should have been fucking Citadel and the piss out of me. All right, what are we up against? Alabama, Turpitz, Bismarck, Ala uh, Iowa. I guarantee that fucking Bismarck and Turpitz are going to spawn right across from me, and they're going to come in. Turpitz has better pen angle or better torp angles than I have. Uh, fucking Japanese torp angles, man. They're so fucking bad. Oh well, we'll make it work somehow. We'll make it work somehow. Pretty sure Turpitz gets quad launchers too, right? Whereas I only get triple launcher. And I think these these uh, torpedoes don't even do that much damage, do they? That doesn't tell us. I don't think these torps hit that hard either. Okay, Iowa on the edge. I haven't been spotted, so their destroyer didn't come straight down the middle. My battleships that spawn on the right are just going to come over here and play follow the leader with me, which means that right side's with Jesus. Okay, Bismarck's there, so is Turpitz actually coming mid, or is he following his teammate? Don't do it. Help fight the right side, dude. Can 
Concentrate fire on the designated target. Our destroyers are losing all of his hit points. Getting into a fight with an Oster Yotlin with no support. Oh. Shit. Oh, that's not ideal. Thank God the Odin showed up, huh? He's real useful there. And now he's right in the fucking way. And now you guys know... Why I don't want fucking teammates anywhere fucking near me. This is exactly why. Because now he's right in my fucking way. I've got another fucking situation where I'm going to end up in a fucking mess. Will the Odin take the lead? Go ahead, sunshine. Go ahead. Take the fucking lead. Lead the way. You seem to know what you want to do. Like, I've taken my hit. It's your turn. Nope, he's just going to sit here and wait for me, right? This guy is 100% torping with his uh, turpits right now. We also have this Bismarck coming behind us. I don't have the range for the uh, torps on the fucking Bismarck. Oh, I'm so glad this fucking moron decided he needs to come in here with me instead of doing anything else. Literally any fucking thing else. Now he's running into me. Again. Got the easy perma fire. Okay, that should be the end of him. Now he's in my way on the other side, so I can't torp the turp. Turpitz goes to torp the Odin. Odin's dead. Still turning my guns to get fucking... Jesus, man. How many fucking shots do you get? Here we go. Get one more heal here. This match has been a hell of a fucking clusterfuck, boys. Hell of a clusterfuck. Alright, so we have an Alabama all the way over there. Full health, of course. I don't know that I can lob this, but I'm going to try. Well, 
said I would try. I'm not going to be able to shoot it for sure. We'll go ahead and grab this cap, get some XP for that. See what I mean, though? Like, that Odin literally did do it. He did torp the, the Bismarck with a couple of torps, I guess. But, like, come on, man. Like, literally all he managed to do was get in the way and then eventually end up taking torpedoes. So I guess in that he did something. I don't need to fire here, so I'm not going to because this guy is just sitting here waiting for an opportunity to shoot me, I think. Get this base capped, and then we can maybe think about shooting him. I don't know, though. He is kind of begging for it now. And I feel like he's about to shoot somebody else anyway. There's our high cow. And he shot me. Motherfucker. Dude held his fire all that time, looks away, and then still ends up shooting at me and is going to reset the cap. That's something else they need to change in this game. They need to do it like World of Tanks. If you don't fucking do damage, you don't get the reset. Like, splashing the water next to me, shattering a shell off the belt does not give you a fucking reset, game. Stupid. Hate that shit. It rewards bad players. Like, the guy didn't know, he did no damage to us, and he still gets the fucking credit for a defense medal. Fucking annoying. Shit should be like World of Tanks. If you don't fucking damage me, you don't reset the cap. That's how that works. That looks pretty good. And he's turning into it, so should be decent. Not decent enough, but not bad. It's been an interesting one. I'll give him I'll give you that. It's been an interesting fight, but Jesus, man. Clusterfuck. Go for superstructure here. That's pretty Japanese dispersion if I've ever seen it. Everywhere but anywhere near where I actually want to hit. <sighs> and now he's just sailing broadside to the other guys, so he's losing health that way. Oh, there's some more Japanese dispersion. Fantastic. Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> Uh, imagine. Lord have mercy. Oh, well, that was a good one. Fun game. Despite all the stupidity that occurred. Where did the Odin end up? I wonder. Oh, yeah, all the way down here. Didn't kill anything. <laughs> he, he was a torpedo magnet at the end, right? So his sacrifice will not be left in vain. All right, let's go Vanguard, I guess. Uh, I play the breast a lot, so that won't be something we play today. Yeah, it was it was definitely a it was definitely a middle push to remember. That's for sure. I don't know if I'll make it a separate video, but that was that was at least an interesting interesting set of circumstances. Carrier game, Saipan, oh Jesus. I mean, we got decent AA, so there's that. It's not enough, but it's decent. Hayate, Fletcher, Z, Marlborough, Soyuz. All right, we'll see what happens. What up, Wolfie? Uh, Bismarck is a, is a ship that I play quite a bit, so no. What up, Norwegian? Ice time, good to see you. CV Queen.
Marlboro. I actually play the Marlboro, though. I don't hate the Marlboro. Not that we're playing ships that I hate. We're just playing ships that I don't play very often. Like, ships that I haven't played in a long time. That's kind of kind of the, the premise for today. Uh, my destroyer's already running away. Because, you know, it's what you do. Run, run away. As soon as you spawn in, just run away. Definitely wouldn't want to have spotting on our side of the map, would we? <sighs> Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoy. What up, Jeremy? Oh, look, it's the name again. Where have I seen that name before? These guys are running from this side. We've got two destroyers spotted away from us. So I guess when I get to this... No, hold it. And then he just slows down and turns towards me. And we're about to lose our Mogador. And that Z will definitely lose a fight with a gun or with a Fletcher if we don't help him. There is a Georgia here too. God, these fucking turrets are awful, man. Got a fire though. Dude, the Vanguard is just, it's a thing. It exists, but, oh, Georgia makes a huge mistake going broadside there. Hits us for a couple of overpins. He did damage con though. So we got a potential for perma fires coming up here. And it looks like he might beach over there. Dude, why do British turrets take so fucking long to turn? Do they have hamsters in there that they forgot to feed or something? Like, what the fuck, dude? These turrets are pathetic. Got one. And then he gets that at that angle. Like, I'm already closing the angle. I have no belt armor, apparently. Like, the belt armor on this thing doesn't exist. Like, legitimately, the belt armor does not exist. Didn't give me another fire, either. That had to have been fucking Amagi out there. And he gets another one, dude. This is pissing me off, is what it is. I can't get the fire! I, it just will not give me a fucking fire to kill this man with. He's gonna get his fucking bullshit back. This guy should be dead like six fucking times over, man. Ah, uh, here comes the fucking... Just get me out of here. I'm done. Fuck this shit. Fucking done. I'm dead to the carrier anyway. Fucking side pan. Fucking tur... Er, fucking vanguard, dude. It sucks at any fucking medium close range fucking engagements. The ship just sucks at fucking close range. 
It can't do anything, man. It just doesn't have it. You have to keep that ship at like fucking 20 kilometers and just hope that nobody actually shoots at you. Because it has no armor. Like, you, you see, like, the angles at which he was citadeling me, any other fucking battleship would be just shrugging that shit off. It'd be auto-bounce city. Auto-bounce city. But because of what it is, it just takes it. It just fucking eats those for lunch. And not in a good way. Let's go Vladdy, I guess. What up, Quake? Can I play the Holland? Uh, I doubt it. Again, probably going to stick to battleships, maybe cruisers. We'll see. Ah, oh, God, dude. That fucking guy got away with fucking murder at the end. Can't get a fire to save my life. I had the guy down to nothing. Couldn't finish him off because I couldn't get the fucking fire. And then he heals again. Gets two citadels on me at fucking ridiculous angles. Like, I was closing the angle so fucking hard on that first shot when he hit me for like 30k. And yet he still pinned the fucking belt and did 30k to me. It's absurd. Fucking absurd. I don't have the Gisco. Have I made a video of Holland? Yes, I have called meet the holland it's called meet the holland basically if you ever want to like know if i made a, sh a video about a ship just type type meet the and then the ship name on youtube and it, it should be one of the first results so, like, if you guys are ever, like, wondering if I've made a video on a specific ship, just type meet the, and then the ship name. Kansas. That'll be fun. Our destroyer is going all the way out to the edge instead of trying to spot. We've got an Edinburgh here that's probably going to get dev struck by the Kansas. I can't lob that fucking little ass island from this far away. Sag. The sadness of having fucking railguns. Oh, that being said, he has stopped. Oh, goody! As soon as I get side to shoot, that's when they fucking the island indicator pops up. Always good. At least we landed a shell. Z-44 getting into a gunfight with a Z-44 with an Edinburgh right here. That's a bold strategy. Edinburgh should be fucking neutering this man right now. Like, what is he waiting for? I hit him with one shell. One motherfucking shell. And of course the guy tries to torp me. And this guy fucking loses all of his hit points because he pulls out in front of the fucking Kansas. And they give him the flood, of course. Dude, you cannot make up the sheer stupidity that is here. Three destroyers in this entire lobby, and two of them are on my side of the fucking map. Shocker. Suja just sitting there out in the open. Somebody fucked him up. He's definitely going to turn away. So we'll just wait. He never fucking turned. Again, you anticipate people fucking doing stupid shit, and then they just fucking sail in a straight fucking line. 
Like, I anticipate people, like, actually fucking making that turn. And that's the time where the guy is just like, No, I'm gonna sail in a straight fucking line. And then, of course, he gets the fire. Here comes all the fucking torpedoes. Fortunately, whatever this fucking destroyer is doesn't seem to hurt that much. Suja is not spotted. I've got one more fucking damage control because of all these fucking torpedoes, man. with that. Here comes a double fire. I don't kill him. I'm not putting this fire out, so he's gonna get full damage off this fucking fire. They're in our fucking cap. Two of the three fucking destroyers are at, over here trying to fucking murder me, and the other one's in my fucking cap. Does that not fucking check the fuck out? And this Palmer is like right here. Ah, oh, it's a Bismarck. I thought it was the Palmer. Palmer is still at range. I don't think I can make it to the fucking thing in time, but I'm gonna try. Suja is still alive. I gotta try to make it to the fucking cap. Potentially put this through the back door. I think our destroyer is going to make it to the cap as well. Testing. Zero damage controls remaining. And it's a fucking Mogador, and this guy just got murdered. Come on, kill him, game. Kill him. Oh my god, how far do you have to fucking lead a destroyer at seven kilometers, man? Lord have mercy. I know it's a French piece of shit, but it should not be that fucking fast. I shouldn't have to lead all the way the fuck over here just to hit a guy at seven kilometers. But he's dead. We were able to keep him spotted. We've got the Bismarck here. Easy kill. Oh, he turns into me, of course. Still looking away from me. Superstructure, don't give him a fire game. Don't give it to him. Thank you. Oh, what a fucking clusterfuck of a match again, dude. What is it with these fucking matches today, man? They are all just fucking cluster fucks. Every one of them. I get bottom of the leaderboard. I didn't do shit, right? Like, nothing that I did there was worth anything, right? 
fact that I get yellowed by two fucking destroyers, a Suja, a Kansas, and my team just goes full like crazy mode and somehow comes out on top. Ugh. We're not playing our fucking Italian tier seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Neither of those two are, are happening. Let's go tier eight, see if there's anything that I, I don't play here. I think the only one that I legitimately don't play at tier 8 is probably going to be FDG and Izumo. Eh, Palmer, I suppose. Oh, I hate the fucking Palmer, dude. Owl's ass. Okay. Fucking Izumo, let's go. I hate this fucking ship so bad. Jackie, thank you for uh, re-upping for 13 months. Appreciate you. And Curve coming in re-upping for 10 months. Appreciate you. Yeah, do I have Rochester? Uh, I'm not sure. I think. I think I've got all the American tier 8s. I think. Also, get some goats in the chat for everybody tonight. Appreciate you guys. We're almost at 200 likes, man. Let's, let's see you hit that 200 likes right now. 200 likes right now. I believe in you. You guys are right there, man. You're right there. Just knocking on the door. You added me on Legends. Nice. Well, welcome to the stream, Elijah. Hundred twenty-seven k with Marlborough is bad. Oh. Any th anytime you're getting over hundred k, you're having a solid, a solid game. I don't think it's bad. Marlborough's a good ship. It's just squishy if you go broadside. Ismo, on the other hand, not so much. I hate this ship. This ship and I do not get along. I guess ship does not do anything well. I'm gonna try to get behind the island to the right. See if we can set up a crossfire since these guys are likely to stay here bowing to everything. We are bottom tier. We have a Burgon and a Yama, so. I'm located, so one of their DDs is likely here. If I had to guess, it'd be the Sumner. Somebody took a location over, so maybe the mid. Zarkoon loves this ship. I hate this fucking ship. Hate this ship with a passion of a white, like a, a thousand white hot suns, like legitimately. And I'm spotted. And this is the part where every legendary tier battleship that spawned on this side lights up like a fucking Christmas tree shooting at my broadside. Wait for it. Nobody? There's one. 20 fucking kilometers away. Somehow spotted. Oh, it's because he shot. That dude's capable of shooting 20 kilometers in his fucking Yamato. And he still lands two shells. So you need to do something else with your fucking Yama build. If you're building a Yama for full range, you're doing it wrong. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you. But clearly, he's going to get God tier RNG. I mean, I'm angled away, and he's still landing two shells with one, three gut or two out of three shells on target. But yeah, if you're building your fucking Yama for range, you're doing it wrong. Shouldn't You should not ever break 20, 20 kilometers of range in this this game. Because that means you have to give up your fucking uh, um, concealment mod to, to switch over to RGA so that you can see beyond 20 kilometers. I'm not located, so the destroyer is not closest to me. He's closest to the inside over there. I don't know what this guy's pinging. There's definitely a destroyer here. But I, I think he's like closer to mid. Take that shot. Get a little bit of little bit back off of him. Now I'm located, so yeah, he's coming around this island. He's 100% right here. Yep, there it is, and it is Sumner. Called it. All right, we've got we've got the ability. 
We just gotta pray to God this guy's a fucking moron. Alright. Probably launched at this point. We got the permafire. We do have good torque production. Good tour production. Still does 17,000 fucking damage. Are you joking? Are you actually fucking joking right now? That shit hit right on the fucking belt. He still did 17,000 damage with one fucking torpid. Fuck you, you little bitch. And of course, Conqueror is going to shoot me too, right? Nobody else exists in this fucking lobby. Not only a fucking battleship right there firing his guns, there's an Elbing right there firing his guns, but don't worry, I'm the only one that anybody can shoot. Clearly. God, it must be nice to be able to just sail your fucking ship around and never have to worry about anybody shooting you when I'm in the game. Must be fucking nice. And he still lost half his hit points somehow. Explain how this fucker has lost half his hit points. Somebody can explain that, right? Like, somebody, please explain how this fucker hasn't even had to be shot at, and he's still lost half his hit points in a Bergonia. Belt armor? Nope. It's a Yama. Of course, there's no belt armor. Right? Belt armor doesn't exist when it's a Yama shooting at you, apparently. Unless, of course, you're in an American battleship like the Montana or Ohio, in which case belt armor does work. But now I'm up against this little fucker who's just going to try to kite away and burn me down. Thankfully, he's not a very good shot. He's also running out of my range. All right, well, I'm going to turn away from him because fuck him. There's no reason for me to chase this guy. I can use these islands to uh, shield me from being spotted from him. It'd be nice if I'd fucking disappear, though. Oh, look, it's a second fucking Yama. Isn't that nice? Notice how they're all shooting me still. And he gets the fucking fire. I thought I was behind the... Oh, it's fucking lid poppers, guys. That figures. I thought I was behind the island, but this fucking conqueror is just on the edge of the island, so he's still spotting me, so I'm going to get set on double fire guaranteed here and probably die to the conqueror. Two shells. And then Yama just do Yama things. But we burned to death, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I, was, I thought I was hidden from the fucking Conqueror by the island. That's why I fired. What a fucking sad fucking ship, man. On to the next one. Nothing I can do about it. Mm, let's go Frederick, I guess. Jeremy Bellman, thank you for uh, re becoming the newest member on the channel. Appreciate you. Vokton as well. Thank you for re-upping for 16 months. We're not to legendary tier yet. We're on tier eight. So I gotta go through all the tier eights that I don't play first. Uh, for the most part, we've had some pretty decent battles. We've had a couple of bad games here late, but most of the games we've had today were pretty pretty solid. I just fucked up when I was. I I thought I was covered by the island when I fired that one shot. I wasn't. Conqueror still had line of sight on me. So unfortunate. And I knew he was going to get a fire because I don't get lucky. Everybody else gets lucky. I can fucking shoot a man 30 fucking times and not get a single fire when they have a uh, damage control on cooldown. But it doesn't matter. Every fucking shell that comes at me sets a fire. What up, werewolf? Battle starts. 
We will be playing the GK when we get to legendary tier, though. So, because I literally never play it. So, okay, Ibuki's not playing. Schroeder's not playing. Good starts. Good starts. What are the odds that their destroyer spawned on my side of the map? Our spawned in the middle, so that would lead me to believe that maybe their spawned middle too. I don't want to be the first thing to push into no man's land over here, though. Holy shit. Brian, coming and dropping a $50 bomb with 50 gifted memberships in chat. Thank you so much, man. Get some goats in the chat. Dude just dropped a $50 bomb on y'all. Thank you guys so much. Frederick Jagrosa is, is ass. Like, I'm sorry. It just is. It, it gets citadeled way too fucking easy, this ship. It's supposed to be a German fucking battleship with turtleback, but this thing does not act like it has a turtleback armor at all. This thing gets fucking yeeted if it gets caught broadside. Our destroyers come in this direction, so there's a chance we might get some spotting. I just don't want to be the first thing spotted going into the alpha cap until I know where the guys that spawn Bravo are going. If, if they if they are coming my way, I don't want to pull into that gap. This is no man's land, okay? If you're the first thing in here, you die very quickly. So we're just holding. Ibuki on the other side is spotted. Behind an island. I'm going to press X. Oh, my God. Brian with a $100 bomb. Jesus, man. Fuck. Thank you so much, man. Good Lord. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Oh, uh, our Schroeder's going for it. Okay, well, at least it looks like the guys in the middle split up. We got one coming this way. The other one went the other way. So I'm going to try to go forward, see if I can't help him. That guy's still saying he's spotted over there, hiding behind his fucking island at Delta. So I, I press X to doubt on that one. But if these guys are willing to push in, I'll push in with them and we'll try to go together. Now this guy's spotted. Are you lying? Nope, there's a destroyer in the alpha cap. Figures. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. And, of course, by the time the fucking turrets traverse to actually shoot at the guy, he disappears. So those are just going to shoot the island. Fuck you in particular, island. Okay, we got an Amagi here. Okay, I have an Abuki and a fucking Schroeder here. Surely we can find this destroyer, right? Search activated. Okay, there's torpedoes. Apparently, I missed the prompt that this fucking... Schroeder was running sonar. It's an Elbing. Warfare at Sea Guy. So we definitely want to try to get rid of him if we can. can't hit a single fucking shell every fucking shell we fired so far has done absolutely nothing just showing once again why i don't play this fucking ship it's fucking terrible meanwhile these guys are shooting he at my fucking bow and doing thirty thousand damage a shot I can't hit him. It just hits everything but him. Fire alarm. Ager backs out for half a fucking second, gets a fire on me with the secondaries. So far, we have done 561 hull damage with one secondary hit. I can't imagine why I don't play this ship more often. This ship is so good. Oh, there's another fire from the other side, of course. Because again, nobody else exists in this fucking game, right? It's just me. 
Just me that you, you have to worry about. I'm in like the worst possible fucking ship and everybody's gonna focus me anyway. Can we get some damage finally? Oh, look at that. 1300 damage. Dude, this fucking ship is awful, dude. It's fucking awful. There is no redeeming quality to this fucking piece of garbage. No fucking redeeming quality to this ship. Rear turrets maybe made it. Front front guns definitely not. He's probably going to sit it on me here. He didn't sit it on me. Main turret critically damaged. I don't want to get spotted. I'm trying to use the fucking island, but oh, I got spotted anyway. Probably did. Problem solved, sir. Jesus God, this fucking ship is trash, dude. Why does anybody play this thing? The ship is so fucking ass. The ship is ass, man. There isn't a single fucking redeeming quality to this piece of garbage. None. What up, Tuxedo? Bakhtin? Oh, we got one decent salvo out of it before we fucking died. Wasn't that fun? What a great gaming experience, once again. Proving that the ships that I choose not to play are just the fucking worst. They're, they, they're not worth playing. This is fucking terrible, dude. I'm not playing a Palmer. That's enough German garbage for me for one fucking day. Lord have mercy. Uh, I guess we could go fucking Marco Polo. We don't play that ship. Dude, that ship is so fucking bad, dude. Anybody who chooses by choice to play that fucking garbage, like, more power to you. That fucking ship is terrible. Ray Publique, I play all the time. Like, I love that ship. Like, the, the, again, the goal for this stream is to play the ships that we don't normally play. So. Ships like Ray Publique, all the American stuff, like, just not gonna play those, because it's what we play all the time. Dude, that fucking ship is terrible, dude. There's not a single redeeming quality. It's not tanky. It doesn't have good guns. It doesn't have anything that redeems it. Nothing. There's just nothing good about the FDG. It's like everything that's bad about the fucking uh, gross occur first, except worse. <laughs> like, it has nothing. At least the fucking gross occur first has guns that hit the target. At least that's one thing that the gross occur first has. But the fucking FDG has nothing, man. It has nothing. There ain't a single redeeming quality in that ship. FDG is the worst battleship for the uh, for the Germans, and it isn't even close. And that's even that's an even including Palmer in that discussion. Like it's just worse. Ray Publique. This guy is just gonna sit here and force me to go in front of him. This guy is gonna cut over in front of me instead of turning in. Oh, 
Alaska. I got spotted there. There's a destroyer here. Has to be. What is my smoke firing penalty? 15-1? Dude, how is the fucking Marco Polo's smoke firing penalty worse than the Columbo's? That makes no fucking sense whatsoever. 15-1! The fucking Colombo has a goddamn 10 kilometer smoke firing penalty. Or 11 kilometers, whatever it is. 15 fucking kilometers. What the fuck, man? Dude, I'm gonna fucking murder this Alaska if he keeps doing what he's doing. Like, this guy is begging for it. So is this repo. No. Fucking look at the Alaska, you stupid fucking ship. Okay, he's definitely gonna go in reverse. So we're gonna aim just right there at the turret. Should pin it. Or I'll not hit his ship, because Italian. <sighs> this Alaska could potentially pin me at this angle. Keep it up. I'll fucking load SAP on your ass. See how you like that. thing that I'm worried about here is this Montana that's coming around the right side. This Alaska could just play possum and st sit back and then come around the corner and blap the fuck out of me at a moment's notice. Which looks like exactly what he's gonna fucking do. So I can't commit to going after the fucking Montana because if I give a broadside to a fucking Alaska I'm gonna regret it. So... Come on, give me a good salvo here, game. Right through that bow side plating. There we go. That's what we were looking for. I know where I gotta hit. Oh, what's wrong, Mr. Alaska? You weren't ready for me? Problem is, he's just playing fucking possum. All right, we're going to smoke up. I'm going to use this time to start trying to turn out. Oh my god, the ship does not change course either. Come on! Let's go! By the time I get fucking moving, this guy is going to be turned away from me. Yep, fucking Montana is going to get away. God dang it, man. Sadness. Sadness. At least we're gonna get the solo cap. Might be able to catch this guy as he turns. There we go. You mean my team's losing when all they've done is sit in one fucking location at the back of the map the entire time? I would have never have guessed.
They seem to be doing so well with their positioning. I, I would have never guessed that they'd be so bad. That we'd be losing. When the only person that has a cap on your fucking team... Oh, this could hurt real bad. Is a Marco Polo. Oh, and of course we leave him with just enough. Shocker. Okay, what is this fucking cruiser? Smoke, Mino. Okay. Oh, did you beach, Sunshine? We absolutely cannot give that fucking Mino a broadside. And we're getting shot from the middle of the map. Breaks my gun. Danno critico a torretta principale. Allarme incendio. All right, you little bitch. Come out. Problema risolto, signore. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. I love when I get to shoot at a fucking Mino and nothing happens. Literally my favorite thing in the world. His little pea shooters are pinning fucking battleship armor like it's made out of fucking cheese. My battleship guns should just neuter the man straight up, but the game is like, nope. Not today. He's just a little tiny mino. You can't fucking smack him. That would be rude. Worried about those battleships on my fucking left while I'm fighting this little fucker. And you know damn well this guy is going to be torping me. Keep firing your gun, sunshine. Oh. Problema risolto, signore. No citadel. And a uh, ricochet. Italian guns, guys. My favorites. We try. We try. If I was playing any other fucking battleship, that guy gets killed. In any situation like that. We're not playing the Carl. Fuck that ship. I've played enough German bullshit for one day. But Spartan, it's pan euro. It's not German. It's fucking German. It's it's like a fucking wish.com German. It's even worse. It's even worse. All right, I guess Kerr first. Kerr first and Burgoyne is about the only thing I don't really play at Legendary tier. Everything else I play, so. Kerr first it is. More German garbage. Jason, thank you for re-upping for 13 months. Appreciate you, my dude. Also, we're at 230 likes. Thank you guys so much, man. Appreciate everything.
Uh, it was it wasn't winnable. Our fucking team was terrible, dude. They all ran away from their side and hid behind me for the entirety of the match. When the only fucking person on your team has captured a base is a fucking Marco Polo, you're probably going to lose. Just going to throw that out there. When the only person on your team is that captured a fucking base is a Marco Polo, you're probably going to lose. I mean, this is better than the FDG, but not by much. At least this has some armor. Doesn't really matter because it has so much fucking hit points dedicated to superstructure, but... It also has guns that hit the target more often than not. So, it, it's got that going for it. It's just so goddamn big, man. I got a wife and kids at home and I plan on seeing them. Let's win this. Yeah, I wouldn't count on it, Charlie. I wouldn't count on it. What up, Doc? How's it going? Metallics? We had a pretty good game for the, uh, for the Marco. Didn't get to showcase any SAP out of it, but... Didn't need to. Still put up, what, 150? 152 or something like that? Would have been nice to get the dev strike on the fucking Mino, but the game is like, nope, you're shooting Italian shells. They don't, they don't Citadel Minos. Any other ship would Citadel a fucking Mino, but not an Italian shell. And of course they go dark because our destroyer goes behind the island instead of trying to like spot. Was their destroyer Elbin gearing? These guys are just kind of sitting here. Dude, what is our fucking destroyer doing? Are you actually going to do anything? Oh, and then of course I shoot, and that's when the fucker. Oh. Dude, you gotta stop, dude. Like, this is like the fourth game you've gotten in today. Like, chill. Oh, of course. Shocker. If I get a good RNG roll, I can go through that cheek at this angle. Told you. Elvin gets spotted for all of about three seconds and immediately disappears. Fire on the Yama. Try to reverse a little bit. Look at that accuracy. See, that's the difference between this thing and the FDG. This thing can hit fucking targets. Let's secondary sing a little bit here. I don't want to reverse too much because that puts me in path of the torpedoes from the Elbing. Let these secondaries do what they're going to do on the fucking Yama. Never mind. Ohio says hello to the Yama. I have a feeling that if I give this guy a fucking chance, he's just going to ram me in his fucking Yama. Garen fucking teed. Like, it just seems like the kind of person that would totally fucking just go out of their way to try to ram me. Here's his best chance to fuck, fuck me up here. Got the shot through the cheek. Go for superstructure with the rear guns. That hurt. Fucking Elbing, fuck off, man. Get him, secondaries. Went through the cheek. But he dies now. Fire alarm. 
Okay. Enemy battleship destroyed. Problem solved, sir. All right. Should have plenty of range with the secondaries. Nope, I lied. Apparently, my build for the uh, GK only has 8.7 kilometers of fucking range for the secondaries. So, GK gets away for now. Like I said, GK is not a bad ship. It just does not do well a lot of the time because it's so fucking difficult to maneuver early game that you get focused by everybody because it's just a damage sponge. But if you can maneuver this thing and actually, like, not be focused down early, like, it's a nasty little boat. It really is. It's got good guns. It's got decent secondaries. It's got powerful sonar. Like, it's, it's got a lot going for it. It's just so goddamn big, and it gets focused so hard early in the match. But I love the guns of this thing, for sure. If the FDG had these guns, it wouldn't be so bad. But it does not. Like, I can deal with having less armor if there's some other redeeming quality to the ship. But I can't have less armor and terrible accuracy and not very good secondaries and, like, every... And the sonar's worse. Like, it's just worse than everything. Like, it, it's not a good ship. This thing, I can, I can handle this. Try to get the edge here if we can. Can't quite shoot the Elbing yet. I might get a shot over the island potentially in a moment. If he keeps going away from us. Fuck. Game. Why the delay? I double tap the trigger. It's supposed to be a full fucking salvo. Why is it that the first shot goes and then the third or the second, third, and fourth turret are like, nope, we're going to shoot down here. You didn't just full salvo. Thanks for the fucking delay, game. I'm gonna charge you a fucking penalty. 15 yard penalty, or 5 yard penalty. Delay of game. Is he eating these torps? Got a good look at an over-angled Ohio here. Pretty, pretty good look. Beautiful. See what I'm saying? Like, I can, if, if I can get the guns to, like, behave, I have no problem playing with this. Like, this ship is solid. It's just that it's so fucking big, man. Like, you just gotta get it to a point where you're not being focused at the beginning of the match. And then you're golden. And the firing angles on the rear turrets are fucking ass. Other than that. Should be able to finish off this Ohio here. But we want to be closing the angle. Get him to shoot at our belt, thinking he's going to get a big hit, and then just shatter all of his shells. Make him sad. Yep, didn't get the front, or didn't get the rear guns off. Okay, he goes down. Got the Alaska in the middle. Two destroyers. Still, what else is out there? There's a Zao. That's fucking terrifying. And a Columbo. Also terrifying. Okay. Rear turrets will make it through that gap. Front turrets didn't. Rear turrets look like absolute dog water. Yeah. Just going to keep pushing straight ahead. Kind of wish this Ohio and I would like split up a little bit, but we do have one battleship doubling back, so there will be a crossfire. Enemy cruiser detected. And now he's going to change course again, isn't he? Get down, Mr. President, get down. Ah. Okay, smoke screen's far enough away that I don't have to worry about that. Alaska should be detectable if he fires his guns. Hmm. 
Is the house full fucking health? Where's this Columbo? We're about to lose our fucking cur first over there. Dude, that cannot be the Alaska firing his guns. It has to be a destroyer firing his guns. Because if it was Alaska, he'd be spotted. Like, he's only, like, fucking eight kilometers away from that fucking Kerfers. That should be a dead Alaska between me and this Ohio. But, nope. Alaska gets away with it again. It's text, textbook Alaska, baby. Fucking just sit there broadside and nothing bad will ever happen to you. All right, we're going to go ahead and trigger this because I'm anticipating potential torpedoes coming. Not from this side, but up potentially... Okay. Enemy destroyer detected. Enemy Taking the shot on the Elbing. Got him. Enemy Columbo's full fucking battery. health, too. Dude, does anybody lose any fucking health in this game? Like, Lord have mercy. Is this guy not playing? Oh, he is straight up not playing. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and make sure that that fucker doesn't wake up. We definitely have the penetration to Citadel this fucking Columbo. So, should be a dead Columbo. Get rid of him. I lied. Apparently, we don't have this, the penetration to Citadel the Columbo. Ohio did. This is a 100-point swing here, and this Zhao is making the mistake of getting too close. So what I'm going to do is actually look like I'm going to shoot this guy, and then at the last second, switch to the Zhao. Okay, Ohio actually shot the Zhao. Does he kill him? Fuck yes. That's huge. All right, we get rid of him this time, right? Right, game? No, of course not. Of fucking course not. When I need you to fucking kill him. That's alright. He'll die from the Ohio for sure. That's a hundred point swing. So that gives us the lead. Three minutes to go. We've got the Alaska coming up behind us. I don't have any more sonars unfortunately. Those are the Zal's torps. Hopefully this... Can't lob the island. There we go. Good hits. What is the last destroyer? It's a gearing. Okay. So not likely to kill us. Unless I take all of his torpedoes. So we just got to kill this Alaska and we win by getting into the cap. Okay. Gearing's over there. Good to know. It's the double fire. Torpedoes direct front. Here's the torps. Alaska, what are you going to do? You're going to beach? Hey, you're going to sail in a straight line. Got one more heal. Alaska shouldn't be able to get away. Between me and this Ohio, we should be able to kill this Alaska unless he doesn't fire his guns. But we got to get into this cap. Go ahead and heal again. It says I can't lob it, but I'm going to take the chance because you miss all the shots you don't take. And we hit him, but we didn't kill him. We got to get this, we got to stop them from accruing extra points here. So we're going to get into the cap. Now we just got to survive. Now I know the gearing is out here on my left. So we're going to keep the bow facing that direction. And then stop potentially. Now him spotting for the Alaska while the Alaska is behind the island could be a problem. Uh-oh. He got a fire and reset the cap, but we're not worried about capping. We just need to stop. Okay, he's right there. Okay, 
Okay, so we're now that he's he's done that, we're gonna actually use this. This is the, his last chance to hit us with torps because he won't reload in time. So, yeah, nice widespread for the fucking win, sunshine. Widespread for the win, baby. Go fuck yourself. GK can't be stopped. Fucking winning, baby! You can't handle it! And he gets the fire, of course. Fucking win, baby! Ah, fucking GK, baby. Alright, well, I'm gonna end on a high note. That was a good game to, to end this on. We're almost at three hours. It's been a pretty fun stream, despite there being a couple of, of shitty games late. Most of the games we had today were pretty solid and showcased that just because you don't necessarily play the ships a lot doesn't mean you can't can't do well in them. There's a couple there at the end that we could have done better, but uh, yes, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a dubski. Well done to the Ohio fucking behind me, 3100, dude. Um, oh, he's a fucking PlayStation guy. Damn it. I can't send him a GG. But, uh, Shib Hijibara? Hell of a game, dude. 3,170. Of course, it helps when somebody in a GK is, like, tanking everything for you. But, <laughs> but still, hell of a game. Four kills for him. Two for me. That's six fucking kills. We did everything we needed to win. So, uh, well done. That kill on the Zao was huge. I was wondering. I was holding. I was like, is he gonna shoot the Zao or is he gonna shoot the fucking Frederick that, or the, uh, Columbo that was obviously AFK? And he shot the Zao, got the dev strike. So we ended up shooting. That was beautiful. Well done. That was actually a fun game, too. So I think we are going to end it there, man. You was the whole, you was the Ohio. You're on mobile. Well done, man. Fucking mobile. There you go. Well done. So feeling blue. Appreciate you, my dude. Hell of a game. GG's. So, all right, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me for the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. God, I hate that delay. Why does it do that? Stop it. All right. So what was our, what was our, uh, win loss today? Remember playing all, all, all the ships that we played today were just ships that we don't normally play. What was our win loss? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and eight. So 50-50 win loss on a on a day where we played all the ships that we don't normally play. Not bad. And let's look at the results. 192, 152. Frederick, we'll forget about that. <laughs> 46 from the Ismo again. Those two ships there were were awful to play. Um, we actually won that game in the Ismo, which is hilarious. Because remember that was the game where, uh, like, neither of the was it the Ismo? I forget. I forget what that one was. Vladdy, 55k didn't do much because the game was over too quick. It was the one where they just captured the base. Um, 43k in the vanguard that was fucking awful uh key 144k synop 77k uh poltava 39k was pretty awful uh 57k in the heinrich pretty awful 38k in the gneisno but that was not really the gneisno's fault that was the one where they they captured the base really quickly we were actually getting pretty good RNG in that one. 85k in the resistance. Uh, we were actually on a roll in that one until our entire team died, and then it was everybody versus me. Ashitaka, 90k. Itel, Frederick, 72k. 80k in the Tennessee. And Ishmael starting off the, the stream with a banger, 98k, which was actually way better than what it looks like. Uh, we were destroying everything in our path, and then we ended up running out of teammates because our destroyer decided to, like, park behind us instead of, like, spot the fucking destroyer that was in front of us. But other than that, 
we had a pretty solid stream. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate all y'all. Uh, Kushti, thank you for 16 months. And Stylo, thank you for 25 months. You guys are crazy. Appreciate you guys. Now, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.